Hi guys! Hi! <laughs> so, <laughs> that was good. Uh, Boothy, your first job at 44 Teeth uh, was a big one. Um, yeah. It was Le Mans 24 hours. I mean, you jammy thing. <laughs> I mean, I, I wish I could say, it. yeah, you jammy bugger, because that is, that is on the bucket list. This time last week, I was sunning myself on a beach in Zante throwing pina coladas and gyros pitters down my neck like there's no tomorrow. And then my phone rang. You see, I signed myself up to be reserve rider for the British endurance racing team here at the Le Mans 24 hour race, thinking it'd be an awesome opportunity to get to the event, get inside a pit box, see what goes on behind the scenes and really take in the atmosphere. Didn't think for a second that I'd actually get a chance to race the bike because that would have meant one of the other lads would have had to pull out and why would anyone pull out of such an awesome event? Well, turns out that's exactly what happened. So here I am at Le Mans, about to start my first ever round of the Endurance World Championship. And it's the 24 hours of Le Mans and I couldn't be more petrified. I got a phone call from the team boss saying, look, uh, do you fancy stepping up and, and racing? And it was kind of, at first I thought, yes, I definitely want to do that. And then I sort of sat down and thought about it and thought, do you know what? I'm, I'm not as fit as I should be. <laughs> do you know, it's a big undertaking. Can I really do it? Um, and I, I needed to take a little bit of budget with me as well. And it was kind of all a little bit last minute. So I... I sat and had a long think about it, but I just thought... For about five minutes. For about, yeah, yeah. I, it, it's something that you can't... That opportunity might not no. come back, so I thought, I've got to do it, no. I've, got to, I've got to find some money. I got in touch with one of my old sponsors, Active Copy Systems, and they, like, thankfully... Nice they, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 awesome job. They, uh, they helped us out, and yeah, we got there, so uh, yeah, it was... Yeah, you, you, you can't say no to something like that, can you? And for a minute, well, maybe longer than a minute, I was going to be the reserve rider. Yeah. For, very, for a short time, yeah. imagine yeah. that. What a team. The, the problem yeah. was that because it was so last minute, I'd yeah. already done all the, uh, the, the licenses. I mean, the, the, the hoops that we had to jump through to get there was just, especially with COVID and everything, yeah, we had yeah. to get tested yeah. and uh, all the insurance stuff and forms to fill in. Yeah, it was last it was, minute. It, yeah. it, was, it was just too last minute, really. Yeah. Go on, steady away. So fucking steady away. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't hit the brakes like that because the back end comes up. No, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, just real gently. Don't, don't brake like that. Just let go. Yeah, yeah, do it like that with the handbrake. Oh, yeah, you through. St steady though, because this one's close as well. Use, use the handbrake. Use the handbrake. Oh, watch his head stop! <laughs> what happened? He had his head off the window. Go on, steady away. Oh, oh stop! Oh, stop! Because you're so close. Real gentle, real gentle. <laughs> well, I'm shagging. Slowly, go on. Oh, you pissed it, this one. You're Easy right. peasy. Yeah, you're all right, go on. Watch his head. The rain in front falls usually here look at the state of it give the old boy a rub down <laughs> how much does it cost you <laughs> five euro for Did you it? johnny johnny you so horny <laughs> <laughs> do you do happy endings well, i can do big price though big price they do a good deal sir this is our this is our wheel changer he doubles up as a team of suits Johnny's getting the full treatment. Ooh. 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 Look at that. Look at that. Oh. What are you saying to that, Blackshaw? <laughs> I'll tell him not to squeeze too hard because I need a poo. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so yeah, let's uh, let's talk about the team then. I mean, so this is a British team essentially, isn't it? Yeah, the whole team's British. There was a few French lads there that we had to help us out, um, but the three riders were British. So there was me, uh, Johnny Blackshaw, who was one of my one of my best mates. I've known him as long as I can remember, really. Proper quick lad as well, isn't he? Yeah, Proper. yeah, he's fast. Yeah, yeah he's fast. Um, and John Railton, John Railton, who I've also known a long, long, long time, who's also really fast. I, yeah. I've known the boys. We, we used to race super. We started racing together when we were yeah. about 14, 13. It just, it was just dead easy because yeah. I knew everyone. So there was, was no uh, effort. You just walked on in and exactly, yeah, yeah. strutted your stuff into the pit box. Yeah, 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 yeah. something yeah. like that. Yeah. And so the bike is a GSXR or was a GSXR thousand? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, GSXR 1000. Now, really, it's a super stock bike, but on paper, it's a super bike because right. what they've done is it's kind of like a hybrid super bike. So they've, it's a stock engine, uh, and they've just so that we're a bit more competitive with the pit stops and stuff. They've put uh, a super bike swing arm in, or, or a, a swing arm that's quick release job. Yeah, super bike. Yeah. I think it, yeah. it's a Harris job. The front quick release, the, the, the calipers that come straight off. Yeah, and so the, you just the take the, out, the, yeah. so the, and the spindle comes out yeah, and take yeah, the wheel out. Yeah, yeah. and the proper um, Behringer calipers, endurance calipers. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of like a bit of a hybrid. Um, it, it wasn't the fastest bike. It, we could have maybe done with a little bit more power because uh, you know some of the some of the teams that you know it's a proper in, it's a world championship so a lot of the top teams are on full yeah. super bike you know they've got big big oh you've ridden the set, the I rode I rode the set bike and yeah. that was an animal until the SCC Honda came past me did you ever have an encounter with the yeah, SCC yeah, Honda yeah 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 that thing it must be 220 odd yeah. horsepower well to be honest with you the a, a, a lot of the bike a lot of the front bikes were were going past me anyway quickly because the bikes were faster and in all fairness they were faster than me <laughs> as well i mean you know there's names like you know freddie foray yeah. kenny foray um you know randy de punier randy de punier mike yeah. Melio, nicolo canapa world champions everywhere I mean, yeah you're, you're, like, you're literally shitting out world champions yeah, yeah. aren't you MotoGP gp spec riders yeah. world championship spec riders and then there's me <laughs> so it, it it did make it hard work but um it, 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 just to just to be out there with them boys, it's, say, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, uh, it's something else. What's happening, Ash? Uh, Cleaning. How many wheels we got? Five sets. Five sets? Yeah. Not going to run out then? No. That'd be a bad day, wouldn't it? Yeah. Bad day at the office? Yeah. It's so hard to take a race bike out with no wheels in it. What are you doing there? Uh, just just seeing how much fuel we've got on the return. How much you're borrowing on the floor? Uh, I don't know, mate. A couple of litres. Yeah. The start then, so I'm guessing they didn't pick you. No, I didn't start. start. No, I didn't start. No. I was. You probably would have broken the bike and crashed it, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. We'll get to that later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so John Railton started. Uh, it made a decent start. Then Johnny went out, and I was third. So my first stint went pretty well. Um, but by the time we'd got to the race, I'd you know I'd learned that I'd never been to Le Mans before, but we got quite a lot of practice, quite a bit of qualifying. So by the time we got to the race. I'd kind of got something like up to speed. The other two boys were still a, a little bit quicker than me. There was about a second, second and a half, maybe two seconds faster than me at that point. The, the, the pit stops all went really well up to this point. It was my second stint that things started getting a little bit awkward. So it, it started spitting. A little bit awkward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> John's out for his second stint now. And as you can see, it's still really wet here in the paddock, but it is drying up a lot. Um, we're talking about maybe putting the Inters on for Johnny's session. He's up in about six laps time. Um, we'll just have to see the conditions of the track. We'll look at what the wets look like when, the, uh, when John comes in. But we'll just have to play it by ear a little bit. I think by the time I do my stint, if it keeps drying up like it is, I'll probably be all intermediates, maybe even slicks, but we'll see how we go on. I'm just going to go in the garage now and see how we're all getting on. I'm on the back of the garage because I'm in a, in a little bit of trouble. I've just crashed the bike. It was my second stint, headed out of the pit lane. It had been wet, so the wets were on the bike. Um, we decided to put a new set of wets in that hadn't been on warmers because it was a little bit damp out there and we thought the wets would be a better tire than the dries. Anyway, got out the first turn. One tish the thing threw me off the top. It was a really slow crash. I picked it straight back up. You probably can't see the swelling. It's not really, really, really bad, but it is quite sore. I 
can get my glove on and off. The, the, so that's a, that's a, a DIY job from one of the lads um, in the team. We just strapped it up to try and get the swelling down and take a bit of pressure off it. It's not too sore now. I've had a couple of ibuprofen and hopefully the adrenaline in kicking it will kick in and it won't really hurt too much. But we'll um, we'll just have to see how we go. It's midnight. That's another stint stinted. We are halfway through the race now. We've broken its back. Um, I think we're 24th position. I've given the bike to John. It's totally dry now, it's pitch black. I feel a lot more comfortable riding in the dark now. There were some damp patches off the line. Um, once you knew where they were, it was fine, it wasn't a problem. Um, I'm absolutely shattered now. My hands hurting, my legs are hurting, I'm tired. Um, I found I found a couple of beds in a in a truck that was packed at the back of the garage. So, gonna try and close my eyes for half an hour while John's doing his stint, and then uh, then I need to be ready as soon as John's finished his stint and Johnny's out there. I need to get ready and and sort of be prepared to to go as soon as or if he comes in, I should say. So I've got some water. I'm gonna get some fluids down me. I've got a banana. Have one of them. One of these things whatever it is, natural something, Nature Valley Crunch, one of them, and uh, yeah, do a bit more. So straight out the pit lane, first corner, tap the power on, on the dry bit of the track, tap the power on and it just lit up and spat me off. Um, I'd, I'd barely made it onto the track, so hit the deck, Ended up with a sore hand. The, the bike, I picked the bike up and the bike looked okay. So I, I carried on going and I, my hand started getting a bit sore, but I thought, no, nah, I've, I've got to just keep going because, you know, we can't, if you make an unscheduled pit stop, it, it ends up costing you, you know, minutes rather than seconds. Yeah. So I carried on going with a sore hand um, and it dried out quite a lot. So the wets just became, they were just moving around too much. You can't use wets on no. the bike, can you? No, no. So I, I did actually come in a little bit early, but the team were ready for me. I took my glove off and my hand was uh, twice the size that it should have been. Um, put a bit of ice on it, had a couple of tablets. Kind of thought it'll be okay. So did the team not say, get it checked out? You know, cause yeah, yeah, they did. So the team manager, David, he said, look, it, it looks quite bad. I think you need to go and get that checked. And he was probably, well, he, he was right. I should have gone and got it checked, but I was, I had a feeling it was broken and I didn't want, I didn't know if they had an x-ray machine in the medical center. They probably would have thought, done, wouldn't they? Probably, yeah. 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 So I thought if they've got an x-ray machine and they x-ray it, they'll probably tell me that I can't ride. And part of me didn't want to, to it, it's too much work for the other two lads to, to finish a 24 hour race by themselves. So I was kind of thought, I, I can't put that on, on them. But at the same time, I didn't want them to have all the fun. Yeah. I wanted to carry on riding. So I thought, no, I'll just, I'll, I'll just keep popping ibuprofen and paracetamol <laughs> and ice and stuff and and hopefully it'll be okay. And it was sore, it did hurt, but I kind of put a bit of a brave face on. Right. And, um, and you didn't get any slower, did you? No, I, I, I went, I did go faster. Um, I, I just kind of, I got more used to the bike, more used to the track. Yeah, um, a bit and comfier. Yeah, I just got a bit comfier. And, and the thing is, if it had been my right hand, if, you know, throttle, brake, I wouldn't have been able to ride, that would have been it. But you know, on a modern bike when you've got shifters and blippers, yeah. you're literally just using the clutch to set off. Yeah, and then, yeah, true. And then you're just holding on. So it, the thing is, I think with endurance racing, especially the pace that I was going, because I wasn't as fast as the top, top boys, and you just concentrate on doing lap after lap yeah. after lap, you probably not, or I wasn't pushing 100%. You know, if I'd have been in a BSB race, that would have hurt. Yeah. I probably wouldn't have been able to do it. Yeah. If I was at MotoGP pace, then it wouldn't have worked. But, because you're just that, little bit off and how far you were how far were you off the kind of the top boys the factory lot the, i think the the quick lads were doing 137s okay. um and i was sort of i think my best lap in the race was a 33 i'm oh, sorry 43. that's good going mate that's good going it, 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 yeah it was it was With a broken arm hand. yeah yeah it's not it was bad. It was, yeah, I, I was happy with that. Yeah, the, the, the team were all happy with that, and you know, the, the, the John and Johnny were both quicker than me. Um, but yeah, I didn't feel like I embarrassed myself. That was what I was worried about when, when I got the call to go over there. I thought, am I going to be, am I going to be fit enough, and am I going to be fast enough? Um, and I think I was fast enough. I wasn't the fastest out there, but I wasn't the slowest out there. There was, you know, we was definitely passing people. Yeah. 
Um, and fitness wise, I thought that was going to be a problem, but in actual fact, I was, I was surprised at how well my fitness stood up. You know, I think I'm not the fit, I'm not as fit as I used to be, but I've, because I ride a lot, you know, I ride yeah, bikes yeah. all the time. Yeah. I've got a level of bike fitness that kind of, that kind of just got me through it. Probably wasn't until about four in the morning, five in the morning when it, I think that's probably when my lack of fitness started catching up on me a little bit. But in all fairness, we were all struggling then. Yeah. You know, I think forgetting about riding bikes, just staying up for 24 hours. I say, did you sleep at all? Did you sleep at all? No. No, none of you? No, no. We, we, We tried to sort of rest and make sure that we sat down, chilled out and relaxed, but, but none of us slept. We thought, I spoke to a few other people before it and they said, if you sleep, it, you just feel shit. yeah, you'll just feel shit. Yeah. Um, but I mean, that, that, was, that was one of the other cool things about the Le Mans 24 hour motorcycle race, riding at night time. I've ridden at, at the, you know, on the roads yeah, yeah. on yeah. the night time all the time, but I'd never raced in, on a night time. And it's so weird, it's so bizarre. I mean, Johnny hit the nail on the head when he said it's like, you know, you're riding around in the dark with your, with your headlight that's not really worth a wank. And it, 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 it's like, you've got, it's like you're, you're doing something naughty, you're doing something yeah, you shouldn't yeah, be doing, yeah. and you're in a police chase or something, you, you know. It's just, it's, it's weird, and particularly for me, because I'd never ridden there before, we did, we did a couple of practice sessions and a, and a qualifying session, and then the next session for me was a nighttime session. Straight into night, yeah. So, so I'd only just kind of learnt my way around and, and, and figured <laughs> out where to apex, where to turn in, where to break, and you know, using reference points on the side of the track. And then someone turned the lights out and you can't see anything. Yeah. You've kind of got to learn it all again. It, it was like, do you know if, do you know if you're at home and, 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 the, and it, you wake up in the middle of the night needing a piss, you can usually get to the bathroom without turning the lights on, can't you? <laughs> but if you're in someone else's house, yeah, yeah, in okay. the dark, yeah, you want the lights on, don't you? Nice and it was a bit that. like yeah. that, you know, because I'd not sort of figured out, you know, I was, I was all over the place. My first nighttime session was horrendous. I was well off the pace, but in the race, I think. I was as, by the time I got used to it, I was as fast at night yeah. as I was in the daytime. Okay, well, like all the top boys then, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and I didn't realise how quick the top boys would be at the night. I yeah. thought it would be a second or two off. But they're the same they're speed, aren't they? Same speed. Yeah. It's like they don't. It's yeah. I think they are doing it with their eyes shut, to be honest. <laughs> got three hours left. I've got one more stint to do. Johnny's going to have to do two because he's the fastest of us all at the minute. Um, and we're all absolutely exhausted. I never thought I'd say it, but the last thing I want to do right now is get on a 200 brake horsepower motorbike. If we, if we get to the end of this, there will be nothing short of a miracle. Us kids having a go at it against the big boys, and there are some proper big boys, proper teams, proper riders with proper bikes and proper budgets. And then there's us having a go. One more stint. I suppose the weird time then, you get into sort of set into a rhythm, set into a little bit of a, you know, it's dark with the lights, etc. Yeah, yeah. What happens when it gets light? Is that, were you in the twilight kind of? That, that was one of my favourite bits. Sunrise. It, it, yeah, it, it kind of, it took a long time to get, to get light. So it, so it didn't, I think me and Johnny both sort of shared the, that period of yeah. getting daylight. Yeah. And I think that was my favourite. It, it was a bit awkward because it was a little bit damp at that sort of time of day. Was it but cold as well? Yeah, and it was, it did get very cold. Yeah. But you, you, you're riding around and every, because it's getting lighter, every single lap, you've got like a bit more information and you can just see a bit better. And it's like, you know when you're riding with a, a bit of a steamed up visor or something, you can't really see and then, and then you give it a wipe and you can all of a sudden see. It was just kind of like that every, or you know when you pull a tear off off yeah. and you can just see yeah, every yeah. lap was just a little bit better and a little yeah. bit nicer. And um, yeah, it, it, the, the conditions at that point weren't the best, but it, it was nice uh, riding into the daytime. But then, it made you realise you've still got a long time. It's only just daytime, yeah. and you and you race until lunchtime. You know, so it's them. That was the most difficult part, I think. The the although it was nice riding into the daytime. You know, you get off the bike and you think, Jesus, I've got like another seven hours left. You know, and you think we've been racing twenty hours and we've got four hours left, and everyone, you know, the t the, the whole team are exhausted. You know, us three riders absolutely knackered. 
poor old Fabrice, one of the, the, the French guys that was with us, him and his brother were on the pit wall for the full 24 hour race. Sat there in what? the chair. Just doing boards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The full race, yeah. So uh, 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 that for me is Fair the, 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 the heroes. Uh, yeah, the heroes yeah, of yeah, the yeah, race, yeah, because yeah, yeah. like, at least we got a break, yeah. you know? Um, so you know, you cut your head edging towards the end of the race, you must be in agony, agony at this point, are you? Not really, because I was just throwing <laughs> ibuprofen down my neck like yeah. there was no tomorrow. Well, there was skittles. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and and uh, the adrenaline gets you to yeah. it as well, doesn't it? I think when when we when it was sort of a couple of hours to go, uh, it, it then got exciting again. Now yeah. everyone was revved up for the finish, and it got really difficult as well because the the weather kept changing. It was kind of you know we'd have a we'd have a shower for twenty minutes or even ten, five minutes wet the track and then oh. it'd dry up so it was like it was in and out and well, yeah. were you in and out then yeah yeah you couldn't ride on slicks could you if you, no, no 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 uh but but then so it would, but then it would yeah shag a set of wets and then putting it or risk putting a set of slicks on and then only get 10 laps and come in so it, it the, the end of the race did get really difficult and then there was a problem with the brakes as well so well that's it we've got an hour left i've just done my final stint or what should hopefully be my final stint if all goes well in 25, 25th, sorry, position. I'm absolutely shattered. Doesn't my body's hurting, my legs are aching, I've got a headache, my neck's sore, my hand looks like it's about to fall off. It's, I'm, it's not, I'm not normally that fat, that's just a bit swollen. So, yeah. I think that's me done. We're 25th at the minute, the 26th place team are reasonably hot on our heel and they're, and they're lapping a little bit quicker than us because they're probably out on slick so we've decided that John is going to go out and uh, yeah, try and make it happen. There he is. When Johnny went over the line, it was, it was like even though I wasn't on the bike, it was it was like I was there with him. Yeah. You know, it was it was just yeah. the 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 weight lifting off your shoulders was just because because it was iffy conditions as well. You know, he's half expecting anything to happen, but to finish a 24-hour race, it was you know when you don't know whether to laugh or cry because it's like just just one of the most one of the most incredible experience experiences I've ever had one of the best one of the hardest things I've ever done yeah. but one of the best as well do you know and to do it with such a great group of lads who were all you know the the it's it's a it's a good little team a professional little team but not it's not a factory it's team, not a factory it, no. team it's not a professional team like the actual professional teams it's well run and stuff but it's it's just a bunch of lads who who do it because they love it uh, and they, they, they work hard and and we just had a we just had a, a laugh the whole time. There was difficult bits. There was there was there was bits where I thought, okay, now what am I doing this for? Uh, but yeah, to get to the end of it is just uh, it's, you can't you can't put it into words. Do you know? It's, it's well, where do you them. race? I mean, I'm so jealous. It's one of those things. Obviously, you know, having having ticked the TT off the off the off the list. Yeah. The 24 hour was on that list. That's yeah, the next yeah, sort of yeah. bucket list. Yeah. And then you rang and said, oh, I'm doing the 24 hour. I thought, you fucker, <laughs> that's you bastard. So where does it, where's it sort of it, rate? Where does it, it sit in there? It, it's up there with the TT, I think. It, it's, Is it? Yeah, it, it's... In a completely different kind of... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's kind of like, it, it feels like a different sport. Yeah. Do you know? Um, it's almost like comparing motocross to rugby, football to rugby or something. Yeah. It, it's so different and it's such a grueling event for the bike. I mean, that was one bike. 
yeah. to do in a 24-hour yeah, yeah. race. Do you know? It, and it, did it look the, like an absolute shed at the end of it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, every, everyone's yeah. bike did. I mean, yeah. the, when when the when the we had the problem with the brake pipe just leaking a little bit, it just sprayed up brake fluid all down the side of the bike, and when that gets on paint, it just rips yeah. it off, doesn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, it did look like a state, but yeah, it got to the end of it. So. To, to do 24 hours on one bike, I mean, fair play to Suzuki for building a bike that can do yeah, that. Yeah, you know, yeah, and all yeah. the other teams, you know, obviously it wasn't just us that finished, so. So when did you realise, you know, you must have come back home and then the, the adrenaline started wearing off and you, looked, you thought, oh, yeah. that's not good. Yeah, well, when I, when I, when I stopped, we finished, when we finished the race and, you know, we, we sort of packed a few bits up, went back to the hotel and got my head down for, uh, maybe six hours I'd, I'd, I'd asleep because I'd not had any painkillers for that six hours while I'd been asleep because I'd literally been every time I came off the bike I was yeah. throwing down on it when I woke up it really yeah. hurt and, it, and then it had swollen up again because I'd been sleeping on it and I'd not had ice on it I had a good idea it was broken when you've broken you'll have you'll yeah, be yeah. the same when you've yeah. broken as many bones as we have you've you get yeah, to have an idea great. of what it feels yeah. like, and I thought, yeah, that's probably broken, so. Well, as soon as I got home from France, I went for an X-ray on the old wrist, and turns out it's broken, so they've put it in a cast for the time being. I've broken my ulna, which is a small bone on in your forearm, and I've broken my scaphoid, which is one of them bones at the sort of base of your hand. The ulna's nothing to worry about, but the scaphoid is like snapped clean in half, so they're gonna operate on it, so that's what I'm, doing here i'm at castle hill hospital in east yorkshire because that's where i live and they're gonna fix it hopefully it's seven o'clock in the morning i'm not entirely sure why i needed to be here so early but there we are i'll uh once i can find the main entrance i'll bob in and see what they've got to say I've no idea where i am it's mental i can't even find the main entrance and i forgot to bring a face mask with me so i'm liable to get a right old roger in when i finally do find the way in hopefully it won't stop them Fixing my arm. Fingers crossed. Ah, fuck, the cat crossed my fingers. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Here we go. Main reception, I found it, now I'm late. I'm gonna go in there, tell them who I am, and I bet you a tenor, they tell me I need to be in a different part of the hospital, probably one I've already been to. I told you that would happen, didn't I? Don't need to go in. Oh, here we go, look, crossroads, Ward 9. Here we go, look, Ward 9, fantastic. Orthopaedics and spinal. Oh, you are fucking kidding me. So what do I do now? The doors are shut. Deep joy. Well, that's me about to get ready for my operation. They've given me a nice hospital gown to wear and a lovely pair of paper pants. They don't look like the most comfortable thing. But there we go. Should have thought of that before I jumped off a jigs of house, shouldn't I? Well, that's it. I'm ready for the operation. They're giving me these lovely hospital operation gowns. Um, that's not my piss stain. Before you say anything, I'm assuming it's a piss stain because it's in the penile area. I'm hoping it's a piss stain, actually. Um, <clears throat> my cast's about to come off. They've drawn an arrow on my arm just to just to make sure they get the right one in case the surgeon doesn't know he's right from his left. Um, so yeah, here he goes. Wish me luck. I'm just, I'm just gonna talk to my camera. Don't think I'm going mental. Will you talking oh, to myself? Fine. That's what you was doing in there, yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. yeah. Well, that's me out of theatre. Finally got a brew, which is nice. Um, I've been awake about an hour now, so I'm still feeling, feeling a little bit groggy and a little bit nauseous from the uh, general anaesthetic, but I think that's pretty normal. Uh, I spoke to the surgeon. He said it all went pretty well. They've. Um, they're giving me this back slab cast, so that'll stay on for a couple of weeks, um, and then they'll swap it for a, 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 a splint. But that'll just start letting me uh, get a bit more mobility back and, and build the strength up. So, fingers crossed, I can get back on the bike ASAP. So this is coming off soon, and hopefully get yeah, 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 get a splint on it. Get a bit of fucking work. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, something like that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So next year then, uh, it's, it's got to happen. Yeah. We've got to do it. I think I've we should, got, yeah. I've got to be in the team. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've done a recce now. Yeah. So I think... I mean, you've completely can... fucked the job by crashing the bike. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't yeah, think so... we're going to get an invite back. No. But, but it's if... got to happen. Yeah. It's got to happen, mate. Yeah. Isle of Man, 
Non, Isle of Man. Idiot. <laughs> What is it? Or Le Mans. Le Mans. Le Mans 2011. Uh, 24. Oui, d'accord. Adieu. Adieu.